Hey y'all, so this is footage of the aftermath of waking up at 6 a.m., preparing to interview a celebrity, and it being canceled. I am going to see this as something that is happening for me and not to me. Yeah, y'all, so I just want to tell you guys about God and how he's, how he's been moving in my life. Um... Long story made short, because it's safe for another time. I've been hustling, hustling, hustling. Um, started my own talk show out of my dorm. Received my degree in broadcast journalism in 2020. Um, been working with Wayne, the one who hooked me up with today's interview. Hosting a few red carpets and yeah, even shooting some documentaries and all that underneath my own production company. I'm gonna change because I'm just simply not interview interviewing, so it's kinda like take off the dress. I'm back. Before I continue on, I just wanna say a lesson and a way of life that I live by to the best of my abilities that helps me maintain my peace and just see life through a totally different lens. And yeah. In regards to today's cancellation, I had two choices. I could have either seen it as, wow, I woke up at six, I only got five hours of sleep or less. Um, maybe four. Um, I woke up at six, I got less than five hours of sleep. I got film content later for the brand. I got work at a closing shift at the restaurant. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Or the path I chose to take was, okay, let me say nothing because the best thing to do is to say nothing when you're faced with the option to complain or whine. Just don't say anything. So when I saw that he said, oh, I sent you the email. Just quickly went to my email, yeah, um, to check out if the email was sent, and it was sent. Like he's not a liar. Of course he's not. I know he's not. It is what it is. <laughs> There's only two ways to go about this. Either God didn't cause it, but He's gonna use it for your good, because He works all things together for the good of those who love Him. Or, hear me out. He did cause it. Maybe I'm supposed to be up right now. Maybe there's a certain conversation God wants to have with me this morning, but he needed me to be up by six. This whole thing was a scheme that Todd set up. Well, it could have been a scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the booze. Well, you got me, Lord. If this was your, like, if this was the plan, Hey, <laughs> you got me. Um, but if it wasn't, one, not one thing I love about God, there's, I can't even go down the list. But one of the things that I love about my Lord and Savior is that although he may not have caused it, he works all things together for my good, which I stress. So don't just think, oh, this happened to me. God must have, God must have, God must have. Good comes from God. God doesn't cause bad. He'll use things to transform you and grow you and things of that nature, but he didn't give you cancer. You know? Maybe our actions led to that or circumstances outside of our hands. But what he will do is he'll use that and or he'll heal you from it if you speak the right things. Confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that you might have healing. But that's a whole nother thing. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'm choosing to remain happy, remain cute, remain the baddest chick up at 7 a.m. Talking to people who I don't know. Why are you here? Are you getting what you want out of this video? Well, good. Because, oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And that, and that right there. It happens pretty often, ladies. Sometimes the bottom lip will flip over and drag and hit the bottom of your chin. And it's like, it's leaving a wet mark, literally. So, 
I was giving big hair realness today. I was giving natural Afrocentric. Thank you. You're it's an Afro. But you know, I'll give it to y'all. I'll give it to y'all. But yeah, y'all. Um, that's my little tidbit about changing your perspective when things go in a different direction. Hopefully, that blesses you. Uh, you can use it from the small things, like okay, Lord. I was about to pull into that parking spot and someone stole it. Literally saw me going into it and they took it. Maybe, Lord, you know that that spot, if I was in it, someone would have probably rear-ended me, tapped my bumper, scratched my door. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be in that specific spot. So instead of seeing it as, wow, I can't believe, let me just take a moment to breathe. Because the emotions are real. We can't be led by our emotions. And just regroup and reroute. Let me just head on that way. Or maybe, uh-oh, maybe that person needed that spot. I'm all up in arms in my truck talking about I can't believe it. Whoop de whoop if I'm even really talking to anybody. I'm really by myself. I'm talking to myself talking about wow, wow, wow. Lo and behold, they needed that spot because they urgently needed to get to the restaurant, the restroom, anywhere. You know what I mean? Or the store. I don't know their needs. Only God does. They pray for a parking spot too. Maybe it came across a different way. They could have given me the gesture. But, you know, you can't look for how people should do things. It's only my job to see it, process, and choose peace. That's today's lesson. See it. Process it. And choose peace. Thank you, Lord. That is so good. Because seeing it is the first step. You have to see it. And processing isn't a step that you skip over. Christians aren't in this imaginary realm where we're just like, oh my gosh, everything's good and everything did it. No, I get mad. I get upset. I get irritated. So the processing is a very real emotion. You can't skip over that. Oh, I'm just, you know, living for the Lord. Yeah, you are. But that did hurt. But they said did cut deep. You not getting that promotion did suck. You seeing her with another man. Yeah, we, you know, you have to process. Okay, bang. It's giving, it's giving very much. A, a really, it's giving very much like a, it's giving very much the girls who get it, get it, the girls who don't, don't. But you have to allow yourself to process, which is something that I did not do very well up until two years ago. I would just be like, it's good, it's good, it's good. Because in my heart of hearts, I was purposing that things would be good and I truly meant it and I truly either wanted it to be or I felt like it was. But that led to a culmination of built up emotions and anger, basically sadness. And my mom can attest specifically that I'll be good, 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 like better than good. And then all of a sudden, we talk about oatmeal and I'm crying. The reaction doesn't even fit the crime. Why are you crying, Kay? She would ask. And then boom, lay it out, spread it out like peanut butter. I am now expressing everything that I have not talked about or allowed myself to process because I just want to live in this, it's all good box. Girl, it's not. You're struggling. It's okay. It's okay. So it's see it. Back to our list, people. It's see it, process it, take your time, do some journaling, get in the word, find, oh, excuse me, find the scriptures that line up with the specific circumstance that you're dealing with. If you're struggling with forgiveness, find those scriptures, meditate on those scriptures, man, or anything, any topic. So once we process it, allow ourselves to feel, allow ourselves to cry. That doesn't mean stay dormant. But sometimes you gotta stay in bed and rest that day. You don't go out. You may call in for work because you have to prioritize yourself. Because the job, the corporation, they still gonna keep going 
after you pass. So don't give them your life while you're losing yours. Excuse me. Anyway, um, anyway. So see it, process it, and choose peace. Once we, once all the cards are laid out, oh, you did me wrong, you lied on me, you said this, oh, you cheated on me, but my cousin, like, once I get to see all the cards, all the cards are in my hand, I'm looking at the cards. I'm looking at the cards. It feels like a royal flush, because I've been flushed down the damn toilet. That's how it feels. Now that I see it, it's my time to choose peace. <laughs> Because the situation has already happened. And if I could have controlled it not happening, I wouldn't have gone through it. So, in some way, shape, or form, it was out of my control. Or if it wasn't, and I caused it, I was the epicenter of the issue. I caused the fight. I did this. I got into the accident. I did that. Either way, it's done now. Whether you caused it or you were... Just an innocent bystander. It's time to choose peace. The Bible says that the Lord will grant us with peace that surpasses all understanding. And ain't that the truth? You could be going through something. People are aware that you're going through a specific process, transformation, grieving, you know. And uh, you're walking around literally exuding light happiness and true joy and you don't even know how you got there you're like yeah I was just crying myself to sleep I was but I've honestly been great and that's nothing but the Holy Spirit peace that surpasses all understanding so yeah y'all see it process it and choose peace ah <sighs> that's what I did this morning I had to see the text that it was canceled. I had to process it and choose not to allow my words to say negative things. And I just chose peace and I chose to talk to y'all. And honestly, I would be nowhere else in the world but with you guys. So like, you guys are like everything to me. Each and every one of you are everything to me. Um, put your um, text, put your numbers in the, in, the, in the thing. I'm gonna send you guys each. $10,000 each, just like, just as like a thank you for watching my YouTube type thing, you know? Thank you. So if it's only one of you, you get the 10,000. If it's 30 of you, it's nothing. That's slight work. Like, of course I have $30,000 to spare. Like, come on, yo. Like, who do you guys think you're watching? A broke girl? Oh. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna keep it short and I'm gonna keep it sweet. And yeah. This is, uh, I find it hilarious. I thought this video was gonna be, I thought my first YouTube video was gonna be, you know, oh my gosh, I just interviewed this person. I done did that, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you guys how excited I am. I thought it was gonna be one of those, but instead, it wasn't. But I feel like this one was much more meaningful and um, I'm very appreciative for the reminder, Lord. See it, process it, choose peace. Yeah, y'all, the birds are chirping. I was up before them. So it's time for me to go and start doing the rest of my day. Hopefully they cancel work. Call me and tell me I don't have to come in. Now that's where, I know I need the money, but cancel that no I'm joking I don't have a good closeout slogan yet like be blessed be you be this be that. I don't have that yet I'm gonna find it and then that's gonna be our mantra okay y'all um to the one person watching this video you look good you look good I see you <laughs> we see each other yeah uh, well welcome on this journey uh yeah, it's about to get real dramatic in my life. Mark my words. God is about to do for me beyond, truly beyond what I can imagine. I don't even know what to imagine. That's how like far it is from my imagination. 
I'm just grateful. My life, my career, my heart is in his hands. It's just me and him. I have in my calendar, as I put right here, I put it there at least three weeks ago, I believe, that by December 26, I don't know, I just put it, my life would change uh, forever. I don't know what that means. Don't know why I put it there, but I just did. And um, just a reminder that things are to come. And also a reminder to just continue to prepare um, my mind, my heart, everything. So, you guys are witnessing a star. You thought you just came across a video? Well, you didn't. This was a divine appointment. So, thank you. <laughs> As I'm looking at you right here and right there. My eyes are on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. That's it and that's all. Not you stomping past my door. As Wendy Williams would say, I love you guys for watching. I pray right now, Lord, that whoever's watching this YouTube video or video anywhere, Lord, that you grant them what you've granted me in life over and over again, which is peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that right now they will choose peace, choose to forgive, and choose to walk in love, Lord God. Help them to see people and see the world through your lens so that they may walk lighter, less offended, filled with less anger, and just toxicity. Lord God, I thank you, Lord, that this is a start for me and a start for those on this journey, and we are growing together. I thank you, Lord, that you do something in their life today that reminds them or shows or proves to them who you are, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper and that they are covered. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You're still here? <laughs> I'm joking. All right, y'all. I'm going to go on about my day because I have so much day. I have so much day to do stuff with. Like, I woke up at 6. Like, you know, I have, like, a lot more hours than, like, the average person right now. So I might, like, run, like, 6 miles. I have time. All right, y'all, be a blessing, be kind, bye guys. <laughs>